In this tech tip video, we're going to be talking about our stuffer trip arm and adjusting it. Okay, so this is a, a stuffer trip arm here that I have out of the bales. It's this piece right up in here. So, as you can see right here, that the end of this is wore off. Now, you can come in here and you can, you can weld this up, go in there and grind it and square it off. Now, the other part of this is this piece right in here where it wears right here on this, on this block. On, on the other side, it will start to get wore down and round it off and we'll need to go in and weld it up, grind it down and, and square it up also. Okay, so now our stuffer trip arm is still in the, in the home position right here. So you're going to take your pry bar and you're going you're gonna to come in here and you're going to push down on your door. And then you're going to hold a, your door down against those stops. And what we're doing is we're going to come right over here and we're going to take this measurement right in here. We're talking millimeters, so this is a five millimeters so we're checking the gap between this wear block right here on our stuffer arm and then right here and you can see that as we put that down in here that we're a lot wider than our five millimeters that that we want to be the purpose the purpose of this measurement is so when it will trip it gives it enough room to come down here and and trip it and won't get hung up here on top of this bar right here. Now it's very important that we use a bar that we don't come in here and we use our hand because our hand will widen the gap out. And so, and so that's why we use our pry bar. Now to make this adjustment, we're gonna come right over here. We're gonna clean our hay off of this stop right here. And you're going to take your, your marker and you're just going to make a mark right here. And it's important to do this, just all we're doing is we're having a reference point. Because this spring, you can see this spring right down in here. This spring is giving you tension, so when we loosen up this nut right here, and the same thing down here on the bottom, it's going to want to turn this um bracket and so if we have a starting out mark it just makes it easier now we'll go ahead and we will loosen these up so now after we have loosened up these two bolts this one right here and right here we're going to take our hammer and we'll take and you can see why it's important that we have that mark you can see that i've moved here but i have it moved down at the bottom Okay, you can see we've went ahead. We've, we've moved this. We're fairly straight here with our line. We're going to go ahead and we're going to take our wrench. And in this case, we're just going to tighten up this top one right here. We're gonna take our pry bar. We're gonna push down again on the door. Then we'll come on over here and we'll check our gap. So right down in here, we're checking so in between this point and this point here on our block, we stick that down in here. And you can see we have taken that up to where there's hardly any gap in there anymore. And, that, and that's good. So our next measurement that we're gonna check, and I'm just going to show you this, is when, so this is on our cam here. So this is what resets our trip arm. This cam's gonna come along here. It's gonna take this, and it's going to take and it's going to push up on this arm. So if we come back over here and if we take that on the going to come and push up on the arm and we're going to reset. This distance between right here and right here, we want to be two millimeters. To get that adjustment, we come right over here, we loosen this knot, this knot right down here. And then we'll tap this down to be able to get this gap 
right, right in here. So now we're going to talk about our stuffer trip spring. So if you look right down in, inside of here, you can see that this is our spring. And so we're going to be measuring from inside of our spring eye hook right here. And the same thing down on this end. It's a little hard for you to see, but we're going to be making this measurement. So we take it and we're going to trip our trip arm. And we make sure that our trip arm is tied up against our stop here. Now we're going to take our tape measure and it's going to be kind of hard to see with my hand up in here. But basically from eye hook to eye hook, we want to be about seven inches. So we put our, we put it in here. You can see that we are not quite, not quite seven inches. We're right around, right around that point. We're a little less than seven inches. We, we find that on these balers, the book says seven and a half. We have found that typically on most balers, a good reference starting out point is seven inches. Now to make this adjustment, we're going to take our two 9 16 wrenches. We're gonna come right here. We're gonna put one right here on this lock nut and the other one right here, we're gonna break it loose. And we're going to come and we're going to turn. We're going to hold this eye bolt and we'll just turn it a couple of turns. Okay, so after we've turned it a few turns, we'll go ahead. We're still, we're still in the trip position. We're going to come right over here, stick our tape measure down in here. And now you can see that we're just or right around that seven inch mark. So this is a starting out point. Remember that this spring length right here is what determines your flake size. And your flake size, so the more flakes you have in your, the more flakes you have in the bell, the, um, the heavier your bell is going to be. If we, um, the thicker the flakes, the the lighter your belt is going to be so that has a little bit to do with your uh, the size of flake has to do with the weight of, of your bell and also the the speed of your traveling those things all play there so that's how you go ahead and you adjust your stuffer trip arm now the, the last thing i want to show you is we're going to come right over here we're gonna put this in the home position. Now, from this point right here to the center of your roller. So we're gonna take our ruler and we're gonna shove it right up in here. And from we're measuring from here to this point right here. And we want to be about between 12 and 14 millimeters. Now, if it's not, if we're not in that point, we're going to come right over here. And these are our ball joints. So these are, one of them is left-handed, one of them is right-handed. We will loosen up these jam nuts right here. And then when we twist this, to get the adjustment that we need right right here so you're going to take your three quarter inch wrench and put on here same thing down here Now that we've uh, got these nuts loose, we can come in here and we can turn this. You can see as we adjust this, we're able to move this rod up and down. Now we can come back over here. Remember, we're measuring from the end to the center of our roller. And now we're right around about that 14, 15 millimeter mark. So that's, that's where we want to be. That's how you go ahead and adjust this. So that's how you go through uh, 
and adjust our stuffer trip arm and door. So now we're going to talk about our, our reset trip arm here. As this arm comes up here, as it comes up, it's going to hit this roller right here. And as it hits this roller, we'll come right over here. And you can see that it's going to lift that arm up. and reset it and drop it back down.